What's up guys, Sony released the update for their flagships with Android 4.4.2 KitKat. The update was rolled out for Xperia Z1, Z1 Compact and Z Ultra. I did a video on how to update your Xperia Z1 to Android 4.4.2 KitKat. If you have not been through that video, the link to it is in the description. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and find out what's new with this update. First of all, we have this new boot screen with this update. And the next big thing you'll notice is that you have a new lock screen. As you can see, we have transparent status bar and a camera shortcut added at the bottom. And if you look closely, now we have a slightly bigger clock widget on the lock screen. The font is also slightly taller. With this update, we are no longer limited to slide up or down to unlock the device. You can just make a swipe anywhere on the screen. Plus the slider animation now had changed and we get this glitter effect while unlocking the device. At the status bar, you will notice that the battery icon is changed with battery percentage in it. Other icon also looks a little darker. Also the on-screen navigation keys are now transparent. As you start using your device, you will notice that the display now looks more sharper and more detailed. This update also brings brand new way of theming your device. Just choose air theme from themes and choose the live wallpaper and hit apply. As you can see here, we get a stylus wallpaper on the home screen and the lock screen. As we scroll, it slowly changes the color of the wallpaper. So that's a really cool add-on. We have an immersive display, meaning the on-screen navigation keys now disappear while playing games and while reading ebooks. This is a huge improvement as it was really disturbing to have the navigation keys on the screen while playing games, etc. Now to bring back the navigation keys, you just need to swipe from the top and there you have it. SMS integration in the Hangouts has also been added. You can change the default SMS app on the settings, more, default SMS app. We also have on and off badges on the settings menu for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Another big change is the all new notification bar. Now we get a dark and stylish notification center with two different tabs for notifications and quick settings. Pulling down the notification bar with a single finger will give you notification center and pulling it down with two fingers will give you quick toggles. To edit these toggles, tap on edit and here you can choose or remove the toggles and rearrange them. With this update, you also get a default file manager. I didn't have the file manager before. Now we also have the wireless printing option on the settings menu. Call quality has slightly improved and now we have a better reception. The caller ID is smaller while calling a contact and you get three different options after each time you end a call. Send SMS, call back and view contact. And on the contacts, we have now a feature called ICE that is in case of emergency on contacts. With this feature, you can now add contacts to contact them while in emergency and this stays on the top for easier access. The overall performance of this device is improved with this update, but there is a small glitch uh, when making a call, uh, actually ending a call, the end time is really slow. Once you end a call, you have to wait for a few seconds for ending the call completely. I don't know if that's because of a glitch or my carrier, but it's quite annoying. The keyboard now has more emojis with more Japanese emotion icons. The camera has a few improvements. All the apps works perfectly fine without any issues. When you long press the power button, you have added options for taking a screenshot. The battery life is also improved slightly. So that's all I have noticed. If you have noticed anything more, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great time.